Grandview football is a program to be revered. The Wolves went 8-5 and five last year, fending off Douglas County in the first round of the playoffs, getting late-game heroics against Regis Jesuit, before ultimately falling to Chatfield in the quarterfinals. After a long summer, Blitz McCarty looks to take this Wolves team to a place Grandview hasn't gone in nearly two decades. So there's not a, a throw on the field I can't make, and, you know, obviously leadership is something that's really like expected of a quarterback and I feel like I'm a pretty good leader so weaknesses wise I'd say you know this is my first varsity start it's coming Friday and so maybe experience a little bit you're coming to a new school replacing a legendary guy um, but we haven't asked him to do anything more than what he can do he's really seemed to um, settle in nicely he's, he's a good player Tall, strong, he's a lefty, which is new to me. Oh, me and Blitz are close, I love that kid. But like, I don't know, we just, like me and my, he's new here. So we just started getting close, really. But in the time that we've known each other, we've grown a lot together and I love our chemistry. And I just can't wait to catch, so. Dude, I love Zay. Zay's my brother for real. Um, I'm super excited this season to be throwing the ball to him. And I just think he's a great guy and I'm super excited. He just earned the job over the course of the summer, and his skill set is he's knowledgeable, he's got a good, strong arm, and he gets, he understands the game of football. He kind of knows ahead of time coverages, he came with a good knowledge of how to dissect defenses. Mostly I'd say just leaning on the people around me. You know, obviously it's big shoes to fill, but I feel like I can do it. The shoes left behind cannot be understated. Liam Zarka leaves as perhaps the best quarterback to walk the halls of Grandview High School, and there's a lot to miss. And that isn't lost on anyone. Um, I'm going to miss Liam's ability to extend the play. You know, when you have Liam back there, the play is never really dead because he can do so much with his legs. He's just so dynamic. Well, Liam is a great athlete, a D1 athlete, obviously. Um, I'm going to do most of my work from the pocket and use my legs when I need to, but really it's going to be more pocket focused. Well, we got a, no, a new guy coming in that's ready to take the reins, and um, the team knows that we have to all step up since Liam's gone. The, his leadership was probably like one of the bigger things that we'll be missing, and that's a role I'm gonna have to step into. Blitz is a homeschooled kid, but despite not having any classes with his teammates, that connection is never lost. I have to think, uh, I don't know if I've ever coached a homeschooled kid, I'm sure I have, uh, but it's not weird at all, no. I'd say maybe the social aspect, but it's been that way my whole life, so it doesn't really bother me, and I live a minute from campus, so it's not that big of a deal. No, not personally because like I still text him and talk to him all the time. And there's a lot of my teammates who I don't see every day. Social media, and you can catch us at a golf course any weekend. So, nope, it's cool. He figured out when our, he knows our schedule. He knows what's going on. He's really proactive about that. And what's going to be different about this year's team is their affinity for one another. Um, I'd say the brotherhood and the camaraderie. You know, making all the friends and friends for life. So it's really tight knit. There's seniors that are best friends with freshmen and vice versa and like really just like everybody's connected. The chance to be out there and blessed to be playing football again and just with those guys creating memories and having fun most of all because it's all about the love at the end of the day. With all the pieces in place, they hope that that affinity could take them to infinity. This year has a different hunger and intensity, I will say. Like we have some new pieces that will be really big and some that people are worried about. So. I just can't wait for the season to start. I think, I believe we can be a good team that scares some people and our goal is to make a deep playoff run. So. You know, we have one of the toughest schedules in the state, maybe the toughest schedule in the state, and we have a lot of hard games that are going to be, you know, epic battles. So I think just those fun games, going to war with my brother, so that's going to be fun. Um, my expectations for the state championship, and that's honestly my expectations for every year. Anything below, I won't look at it as a failure, but it's definitely a disappointment. State, I think it'd be foolish not to uh, expect that and strive for that. We have all the pieces. This is Jake Chow reporting for GVTV. Uh, we're coming, and Blitz is going to shock a lot of people.